Yo, welcome Frony. So today we want to take a look at the dynamic events and I will share some tips and tricks on how you can get high rank on almost all of them. So first off, what we need to know about dynamic events is that they happen every three hours. If you're in the map and you're going to timetable, you will see them. Right here you can set alerts so you do not miss out on them. When it says that it's starting at 12, the area will start at 12, but actually the event will start at 12.05. One exception is events like this where you will see that guild symbol, because that guild symbol means it's a conflict zone where there is PvP. And that will start right away at 3 o'clock and not at 3.05. But you can only start earning points at 305. So basically you have like a bit of bantering, PVPing around before the actual scoring starts. The other ones where you will see that peace bird right here, those are peace events where you will just have free farm. A special form of events are the lantern seed festival events. This is a cooperative event where you will either succeed as a whole server in that event, and then you will get rewards based on the tiers or you will just not get them at all. So you have to work together as a team. So let's start with the first one, the Black Hole Planes. This is the easiest and the first dynamic event that you will get introduced to. You do not have to do any specific strategies. Just try to find a spot where there's almost no other people and then turn it in at the last second. You do not have to listen to what he's saying and all of that. Just wait until the last second, turn it in. So you have the most amount of time to farm. If you're still new and you just joined the server, then make sure to check your codex as well. Under the exploration, you will find quests for all the dynamic events. So make sure that you are choosing the events so that you can also complete the quest for the additional value. Next up is the Starlight Ritual at Urstella Fields. There's two special ways that will help you to gain uh, more points. One, there's flowers spawning. If you hit them with only one auto attack, you will get more points. Number two is that there's actually treasure goblins and stuff like this running around there. So if you hit them as well, and you try to kite them into an area where there's no other people, then you will get the, all the loot by yourself. If other people also manage to get damage on that goblin, you will not get the whole loot. Next up, the co-op event at the Lantern Seed Festival. At first glance, you will have to go to all the cards that are there and you always have to beat at the cards with two people. Then you can activate the card, try to get as many as possible as that will give you additional points, kill monsters alongside while you're traveling from one card to the other. Then you will have a escort quest. You will have to save the three guys that are walking there, walk next to them, make sure no monster is touching them. And then the third one, you will have to release lots of balloons for the festival to make the sky look nice and therefore you need to farm as many as possible. Here you do not want to turn in early and just like dump into a balloon you always want to farm enough to actually raise a balloon and only in the last second you dump your last points in. But be aware that there's a limited amount of points that you can turn in. So if their server is like really, really crowded, you do not want to wait until the last second so you actually get to turn in for your points. Because those points will then give you a personal performance reward and the rest is determined by the group. So if you get all the way to tier um, number four, you will get all of that Dalarite element here. And that will help you a lot in crafting the Stellarites that will give you 10% bonus damage on all of your attacks. Sorry to interrupt, but short self-promotion is needed. Currently, 91.2% of the people watching the videos are not subscribed to the channel. So let's make a deal. If you learn something new in this video, you have to subscribe. Then the Hidden Crown Mika event. This one is a bit more tricky. Here's where the strategies are really starting because you will have different registries in this event and you do want to turn in in a registry with the lowest competition. So you're getting rank one. This is also an event where you not only have one winner, every registry can have its own winner. And to do this, you can also observe different um, registries and see how many people are going there. Do you think they look dangerous? Do you maybe recognize a name that is performing well in other events previously? And based on this, you will then decide to which registry you will sign up for. 
and you will farm as much as possible. Maybe one tip for all of the events, especially Hidden Brown Mika, but others have similar ones. The monsters that are there will have different HP values. So at the Hidden Brown Mika, the Scorpions and the Mantrakes will have a lower health pool than the Basilisk. So if you can, only try to kill the low ones if you are a 1v1. And if you're AoE, of course, you pull everything. No? But if, as, if you are a 1v1, you can actually get a way higher score if you skip out the higher hp points then the next one the desert caravan this one here you will have to actually listen to the shots that means you will start farming as usual you also take care of the hp here it's a similar as, as hidden brown mika and then the merchants will say something like yo go to the location with the wave go to the location with the castle if you want to sell your stuff with the value of times three if the server is really really populated and lots and lots of people are participating in the events and you are farming well then you actually want to turn in like twice so after like 10 minutes you want to turn in the first time in the times three and then in the last call this is about three to between three to five minutes when you get the last merchant call you will then want to rush again to the times three turn it in then continue farming and either turn the last parts in in times three or times two the reason why you in, on crowded servers you have to actually do this is the fact that if there's a high population all of those merchants will have a limit that means only 5000 points can be put in a times free so if you're too late to go to those you will not get um, the times three and then you will get the times two and you will probably not end up winning and the last one for that video is the platinum rush room gathering so it doesn't get too long the other five events will come in part two so don't forget to subscribe if you're not going to miss them. This one is the Blood Mushroom Gathering. Here you will farm the ants because they have the lowest health. If it's possible, AOE also the sandworms. And you will want to farm up all the way to 50 points. This is your threshold. Then after you get those 50 points, you will check how many people are there. If it's really, really crowded, yeah, you will not go to 100 points. You will stay at 50 points. Once you get 80 points, you will open a thick mushroom and you will continue the cycle. Always farming from 50 to 80, opening thick mushroom and so on. Then at some point, giant mushrooms will spawn. Those are the ones where you save the 54 and you go and try to get those giant mushrooms for the really high reward. If there's not a lot of people in the event, you will not do that at 50. You will maybe do that at 100 and you will try to aim to get two giant mushrooms or even more. Depends on how crowded it is. But make sure you're only taking giant mushrooms and thick mushrooms. The normal mushrooms do not give you bonus points properly. It's not worth taking it. You only take them last seconds if you maybe manage to farm like 10 points and you want to turn them in so you get at least some rewards in the end. Yeah, guys, that was a quick run with all the early game events. If you still have any questions, just let me know in the comments. As always, I will try to answer everything in less than 24 hours. Cheers, guys.